Like speaking this morning with Greg Hall from Alligator Energy. Greg, morning. Good morning, Andrew. Good to see you. Yeah, results in this week, Greg, from a, a recent resource and extension drilling program at Samfire. Uh, you've seen some significant uranium hits and some pretty good looking grades here. Tell us more. Most certainly. We've been drilling all year, um, off and on, uh, you know, allowing uh, time off for the pastoralists during lambing season, but really we've had some good results. We, we put some out in July. We've now put the, the final ones out for the year, essentially. Um, we've increased the, the, the known strike length of the, of the resource through the channels and different roll fronts, which is great. Um, we also have uh, not only these results, but we've been doing some logging of older holes, which we haven't re-logged from the historical drilling from many years ago. That is finding that there's some corrections in lithology. That's going to, to add uh, some, some mineralization as well. So in getting all those in place, it's been a great outcome. Some of these grades, uh, 1% to 2% results are fantastic to see in, in any sort of operation like this. And this, of course, Greg, will lead into an updated resource estimate Q1 next year. Uh, that's correct. So we finished drilling in the coming week or so. Those results all get collated along with this. We've uh, engaged our consultant for the resource upgrade, independent consultant. Uh, they'll start working on it in December, but he's going to take through to January to make sure that we get this done appropriately and properly under the guidelines of the draw code. So, so that will come out sometime. We hope by late, about late January, but we'll set Q1. And you've engaged a, a drill contact contractor for a big program in 2025. We'll restart the drilling again at Soundfire in early February, um, get back on the ground. Um, that will run all year, uh, apart from any pastoral required breaks. Uh, and that's going to help us uh, continue to advance this uh, resources in, in the intent. And the good thing about um, uh, updating the resources is, is that will allow us uh, in going into a feasibility study to review what production rate we might be able to do for the project. But before we do all that, we um, we are awaiting uh, the approval for our field recovery trial or the lease for the trial. Then the operating plan needs to be approved into the early part of next year. We are hopeful of getting on the ground around March <clears throat> to commence that work, construction, and then the operation of the field trial, so during the first half. So that, that's um, becoming very important to us. We are um, obviously not happy that it's taken so long to get to this phase. We've gone to and fro with the department, but we understand they're in the final documentation phase of, uh, of, um, of material. So, so we're still hopeful of achieving that soon and then getting on the ground next year. I suppose, Greg, just while I've got you, as far as the uranium price, uh, got off to a bit of a hiss and a roar at the start of this year, has softened a wee bit since. What's the industry expectation moving forward? Well, the, the, the thing is, we're now back into what we call in, in the industry, and I've seen this for 24 years or more, uh, let's say a more normal price structure where the long-term price is firmer or higher at $81 a pound US than the spot price, which might be 74 to 76 or something like that. And that's because most uranium is sold under long-term contract and the spot market is a clearing market. Any excess pounds someone has, a trader has, they just clear at that price. And utilities will pay more for security of supply and hence a long-term contract. Um, a little bit of news in the market last week. Uh, the, the Russians, in response to the restrictions that the US have put on their uranium supply, have now said they are going to cease supply of enriched uranium product from Russia to the US. That um, most US utilities are already anticipating a reduction, therefore are doing other things. We've seen a, a, a lot of long-term contract requests come out in the past weeks. And this is a part of the time of the year when you do get them occurring. So that, that pushed the spot price up, I think, in reaction by about $3 a pound last week. It's drifted down a little bit. But, but it, it's just showing that the geopolitical nature of this market has not gone away. There's definitely now a lot of influence by the change of politics. And it bodes well for new production from Western uh, areas such as the United States, Canada, Australia, and Namibia. They really are the ones that are wanted by these long-term contracts. Great to catch up, Greg. Thanks for your time. Thank you very much, Andrew. Thanks for your time.